hostiles. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I'd like to share with you guys today something that not a lot of people know about, even not a lot of Floridians know about. Here in northeastern Florida, and just so you can get the lay of the land here, up here to the left, this is Jacksonville. This is the St. John's River you're looking at. There's a little town called Green Cove Springs. Now, many haven't heard of it, but in this town, there is a spring that comes up out of the ground very near the river. And it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to zoom in on it here. Right here, this circle. There's a sluice where this water comes up, it's crystal clear, and it feeds the city pool. And then it comes out the other side, and there is a little tiny stream right here that then feeds out back into the river. Now, they don't use any chemicals in this pool. I just wanted to show you this. It's just the water that comes up out of the ground. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the story of the Fountain of Youth, and many people attribute it to being in St. Augustine. This really is the actual Fountain of Youth here. And people have been coming to this location for hundreds of years to soak in this spring. Now, it used to look very different. Um, the pool is at least last time I checked, was free to get in. And you can go swim in this stuff. Now, I'll warn you, it's very sulfury. And sometimes it's kind of hard to deal with that way and doesn't taste particularly pleasant. But it gives us an opportunity to look at what might be the oldest example of a straw man argument. Many of my detractors come to my channel and say, you make it seem as if blah, 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 blah thing. Well, when you say fountain of youth and you say that partaking in this water makes you feel younger, are you saying that it's the fountain of immortality? No. It doesn't keep you young forever, but proof being, 
in this same town, there is a cemetery. And it's actually been covered on, I think it was, I'm trying to remember the channel, where they were talking about haunted cemeteries. And it's called Little Hickory Grove Cemetery. Now, it's kind of an out-of-the-way place, but when you go into this old cemetery, you will find graves from the 1600s and 1700s where the people were living 70, 80, sometimes 90 years. Now, of course, that's not immortal, but back then, that was twice as long as anyone was living. So, arguing against the idea of a fountain of immortality, or saying that a fountain of youth means you live forever, is straw man. That's not what's being said. It says that if you drink this water, if you bathe in this water, if you use it to cook or whatever, people in the region just live longer, healthier lives. What the principle is, I don't know. But we can see this in just about everything that the Florida Maquis has covered in the last two to three years, including Antarctica. When we talk about civilization down here, we talk about the ideas that there are places where things are being hidden. You would have to ask yourself, well, what's the logic? Why would, why would you need to hide areas in Antarctica if it's just wind, ice, rock, and snow, and by treaty there are no secure mil military facilities? Same story with Venezuela. If evil, terrible, horrible socialism fails all by itself under its own weight, why would you need to criminally sanction U.S. companies and tell them, no, you can't do business? Wouldn't the companies themselves just do that on their own if what you're saying is the case and that it's just this horrible, terribly flawed system? Venezuela would have never been wealthy, never gotten wealthy, never had any money, never had any success, and businesses of their own volition wouldn't deal with them. Same thing with the Fitzgerald story. If it were truly just an accident, and that were the case, why did you have to ban any of the other countries involved from speaking with any of the members of the crew and use the U.S. Coast Guard to investigate an issue that happened on the coast of Japan when it was the Japanese Self-Defense Forces and Coast Guard who were the first on the scene? Anyway. Just saying, all of these different things, these failures in logic, can be shown in just about any story where the government wants you to believe something and people just run to support them. Now, one of these other areas that I think would show this exact same argument is here near Mount Erebus. Now, I want to show you guys something, and I don't normally talk about this specifically, but this is redaction. As you can see, we have a very highly detailed, high-res region where you can zoom in and see very, very detailed images, but, but, look what they've done here. This area here is much lower res. And they've taken a redacting tool, a blurring tool, and very specifically blurred out some very specific areas. Right here in the white. If Antarctica is just wind, ice, rock, snow, and science teams, why in the world would you need to do this? What is underneath all of this mountain region that is so terrible, so um, secure or frightening that Google itself would have to do this? You know, I could see them blurring out different countries at their request. You know, please don't show the details of our military bases or these other facilities. I suppose a nation would have a right to do that. But Antarctica? Why? Why would this be necessary? Now, we're going to go back to another region here real quick. Not very far away. 
And I want to show you something that is absolutely, this is another area of redaction. See how this area is all black? Well, let's go forward. They missed something. Tell me, this does not look, right here, like an animal, some type of a deer, a large one, laying down with its hooves crossed, its legs crossed right here. Oh, and by the way, look familiar? Once again, giant skull, elongated skull, eye, cheekbones, jaw. How many does this make now? How much longer are people going to continue to say apophenia? Or whatever the other word is where you see, you see faces. I wasn't sure which one of these to circle, to be truthful. I circled this one because it's somewhat new. And if you think it's just a rock that looks weird, look what happens when I go forward just a matter of months. This is 11-5-2012. 10-22-2012. This is only, what, 14 days? Two weeks, it's gone. And here's two weeks prior. 2 13, 2012. Well, not two weeks, pardon me. This would be eight months. Point being, this is in the quantity that we have found things, this is inexplicable. This is something entirely new. And for those of you that maybe don't see it, you know, here's the head, the neck, the body. Here is what looks like maybe a rear leg and hoof, front leg and hoof, head, and some type of, some type of antlers. I'm not really sure exactly. This is, of course, could be something very, very new to science. Just like, just like science in Antarctica has already admitted they found DNA of something that doesn't match any known plant or animal. And that's not me saying this. This business insider said this. So I guess I'll just leave it here and let you guys take a good look at this and make up your own minds. But just remember, there's always that group of people out there who are so good at psychological operations that'll say, well, he's saying blah, 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 really, or he's making it sound as if blah, 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 when that's not the case. That's just them inventing things in their head to be disagreeable. And I guess we'll just leave that there. Like, share, subscribe. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are 
hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. All the clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before?